outside day 416. If I was an Uber driver, every time somebody would get in my car, I'd be like, who's gonna drive you home tonight? And then I would stare them awkwardly in the face and be like, good evening, where can I take you? I'm assuming you're headed to another destination and you just don't want to be bipedal. And so you need some automotive propelled conveyance to assist you on your journey. Well, look no further because you found the Uber. The Uber, that's a stupid word. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I don't want to be an Uber driver. Because I'm going to tell you what, the first time somebody threw up in my car, oh, I would lose my cool, if you know what I'm saying. Not that I'm cool, but I would lose what little cool I have. I'd like to harp on something today, and that is the harp. Who in the hell decided to design this stupid-ass instrument? Let me tell you something. The harp is like somebody took a grand piano and they said, that's a little too cumbersome. Let's put it on its side, turn it up right, and then we can play with our hands, you know? That, what, it's, I mean, that's just a, such a stupid instrument. Have you ever seen like a real pedal harp, like a full-size pedal harp? I've seen like two, there's not very many in this world. Um, I'm convinced there's about seven harps in the world and I've seen two of them. But they're freaking enormous. It's just the most, like, laden, cumbersome thing you've ever seen in your life. Like, it would be easier to maneuver a upright piano from gig to gig than it is a harp. Because it's got to, you got to put it in this huge bag or wrap it in moving blankets and freaking duct tape and crap. You got to put it on a little cart to roll it because it weighs like 85 pounds. And most of the women and women are the ones that play the harps. You don't ever, I've never seen a dude play a harp. It's all women. So they said, hey, let's give them a huge instrument that most women can't even move without the assistance of wheels. It's dumb. And here's the thing. When do you start playing the harp? When you're like 14, 15, 13, when everybody else picks up instruments? I got, I started playing guitar when I was 13, right? I was not a big kid, but I could carry that guitar anywhere I wanted. I could put an amp in one hand and a guitar case in the other, and I wasn't, I wasn't taxed at all. You can't give a 13 year old girl a damn harp. You gotta get her dad to help load the thing in there. And you just lock that bitch into having a minivan because there's no other vehicle that can haul it. Yeah, you can put a harp in the back of a pickup truck, but it won't be a harp. It'll be all fucked up and out of tune by the time you get it where you get it. You know, and, and that's the other thing. There's probably not a harp on planet earth that isn't all dinged to hell because you're throwing it in the back of a van everywhere you go. But man, Sally, the 13 year old, don't want to drive a damn minivan. She doesn't want a Dodge Caravan. She wants like a little Jeep Patriot or a Compass or a PT Cruiser, some other little silly girl looking car that they think are cute, which are really horrible vehicles. Um, you know, when you get down to them, just horrible vehicles. But back to the harp. I don't get it, man. Like, that's such a, a, an odd instrument, really, you know? 47 strings, and it costs like $5 a string to tune the thing. You gotta tune it every couple years, because apparently you can't do that by yourself. Uh, it's just it's just odd, man. Just a really weird looking thing. And you gotta like lean it back on you. It's got this weird little pivot point and all. But it's a massive thing. The first time I saw one, I wanna say I was at a wedding. And, I'm, and I walk in and I'm like, Somebody's playing a damn, damn harp music. I look over and it's a harpist, you know, because that's what they're called, harpists. And I'm like, these freaks have, have gotten a harpist. I don't even know where you'd find a harpist because this was like pre-internet days where like, like Google and crap didn't exist. Like the internet was around, but like you couldn't like type in like local harpists. So I don't know how they found these people. I was like met them at a bus stop. She was waiting on a bus because she didn't have a minivan. You know, she's having to haul the bus. And here's the thing, you put a harp on a bus, they're gonna be like, no man, we can't we can't fit that on here. You'd have to put it on the front of the of the bus where they got that bike rack for all those weirdos that ride a bus and take a bicycle with them. Like, are y'all aware that the bicycle will also take you where you need to go? That's just very strange that you would pay for a bus. It's strange to me that cities would even say, yeah, let's entertain the idea of putting bike racks on the front of our buses. And they're never full. So what, who is this weirdo that did this once that made all these municipal uh, powers that be say, yes, we need to invest in more um, 
we need to invest in more bicycle racks. And while we're at it, make it modular enough that it'll fit a harpist's harp. Because there will be times where a father can't afford a Dodge Caravan or maybe he can't find one that's good. And so the little girl, little Sally, the 13 year old, has to take the bus across town to play at the wedding that she somehow, you know, secured a gig for. But yeah, I walked into that wedding and I'm like, man, and you see those things for the first time. It's like seeing a damn elephant for the first time. You're like, golly, they're way bigger than I thought. Or a hippo, right? A hippo, way bigger than you would think. You know, you'd think it's just some, you know, oh, it's a large animal. Those bastards are massive. They're like the size of a Mazda uh, MP3 minivan, which also could be used to haul a harp for Cindy the Harpist. I'm done harping on harps. Hey, Giddy.